Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be doing a short, hopefully short, guide on how to withdraw your V1 Velodrome liquidity positions. Uh, the V1 UI has been deprecated, so we are going to be needing to access the smart contracts themselves using optimistic Etherscan, and we're going to also be using DBank to find the correct contracts that we are going to be using. So, for today, uh, I'm going to be using the Rabi wallet. Uh, to show how we can get this done. You can do this with uh, hopefully any wallet provider that you have. But we are using Rabi. And as you can see when we go here and filter by OP, we have around a $15 LP position of OP and VLO. So the values that we get during this video will depend on your current uh, liquidity pool and the values. It is the same steps no matter what you have. It will just be different values. So if you don't have OP and VLO, um, that's perfectly fine. You could have USDC and DAI, and you'll still be able to understand exactly what we're doing here. So, <coughs> the way you can tell that it's V1 is when you go to DBank, you can type in your wallet address, search it up, and then we'll do filter by OP. And you can see it says Velodrome. So, if it said Velodrome V2, uh, that's how you would know that you are fine and you should be able to still access it from your dashboard. If not, then you'll need to join the Discord and open a ticket. Um, but if it just says Velodrome with no V1, V2 discerning, that means that it's uh, V1. So, uh, what are we going to have to do? Well, there, here's a little guide outlining on the side that you can pause this video and read over at any time. Uh, but first, what we're going to need to determine is if we are staked or not. So there's two different kinds of positions on Velodrome. You can have a staked position or just a pure uh, LP position. So today, <coughs> the example we have, we are going to be staked. For the guide, it does not matter if you are staked or not. Actually, if you're unstaked, uh, this will be easier for you because you won't have to find the gauge contract. But uh, for those that are staked, we will still be going through all the steps. So the first thing that we're going to need to do as outlined in here, is determine if you are staked or not. So after going to DBank, we find our V1 liquidity position. We can see we are staked because we are earning VLO emissions. So now we'll go to our transactions and you'll probably have to scroll and go back to 2023 or 2022 whenever you deposited this and find your transactions. But they will always say add liquidity and deposit. So for us, because and also, by the way, quick, there are three contracts you're going to need. Uh, the router, the router contract, um, the pair, whatever liquidity pair, so like ours is VLO OP, and then the gauge. So this gauge contract address right here would be the one for the VLO OP, um, but we'll actually close out of those because we're going to show you how to find them. So for us, we'll go to the deposit section, and we'll open up that from our DBank just by clicking on the, you want to click on this one because that's the transaction hash. As you can see here, well, what's going on? Well, this gives us two of the contracts that we need. This contract that we are interacting with or sending our stuff to is the gauge. So we'll open this up and boom, you can see actually we've gotten right into the gauge contract that we need. And then this is our pair contract. So you can see it's V1. Um, VLO slash OP, and boom, now we have that all ready. And I'm going right to the read section because we're going to need to read some values um, in order to ensure that we are on the right things. And then what I like to do just to get the last one is I look up Velodrome, and if you scroll down a little bit, usually one of the very top things you'll see is router. Um, make sure that it ends in A6F, uh, 666 A6F, that is the correct router. So now as you can see, that was very easy. We got all the contracts we're going to be needing for the entire time just from that single transaction. And if you don't have a deposit, uh, that's good. You can just open this up without the deposit and you'll see you have your LP token pair and that's, that's the only thing you'll need. You'll click on this and you'll get the same as this one. These are the same. And then you'll be able to search up router or velodrome and you click on the router the same. Okay, so now that we have our contracts and values 
Uh, you can see we do, yep, if yes, find, find the contracts. All right, so now we are staked and we have some rewards we want to claim. We can go back and see from our position. We've got a little bit of velo and you know we want all the velo we can have. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to read and we're gonna make sure that this is the right one. So I'm copying my wallet address going to balance of and I'm querying and as you can see yes a number pops up that is more than zero which means that we have our assets in this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to get reward and as you can see there's two things the account and the tokens so what does this mean well account it's going to be our wallet address and tokens that is going to be the velo token this one right here so we'll go back to that We'll get the contract address right from dbank, and we'll go to tokens, and as you can see, we've already filled out the get reward, so the tokens will always be this, because that is the Velo token. Oh, I almost forgot. Make sure you connect to Web3, and now you can see we're connected. We'll do right. As you can see, we are claiming our point zero 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 three Velo, or Velo, and boom. Awesome, and now that we have claimed our Velo, we can go to withdraw all function 10, and we'll do right. As you can see, this is now giving us back our deposit. We'll wait a second, awesome. So now that that's all done, we're actually completely done with this gauge contract, so we can go ahead and exit out of that. And now what we're gonna need to do is use the router contract um, we're going to need to do read because we're going to need to do remove liquidity and you can see there's a lot of values that we're going to need to get but it will not be that hard but before we do that we're going to take the easy do the easy thing so first we're going to need to do allowance we're going to need to go over here and we're going to need to approve so your spender is always going to be the router contract because that's who or that's the contract that's going to be sending your tokens back to you and then there's this amount of value so how do we get that amount well you go to your pair con you go to your pair contract you go to read you do your balance of make sure you have your wallet address enter it in there and boom you can see it's that that value you got making sure that it was the correct one so that's how much liquidity we have in there and that's our value so now we can go back to right we'll go and grab our amount that we just got and I just like to have this up on the side or something else to write in so that you uh, you can keep your values nice and easy and we'll do approve and you see we're creating an approval of our all of our tokens to the velodrome router we'll wait for that to go through Awesome. So now that that's done, now and staying our same thing, we're going to go to read. We're going to need to get some values. So we're going to need to get token A, token B, the stable boolean, our liquidity value, which we already actually have. That is this. So boom, that's a nice one done. And then we're going to need to get amount A min, amount B min to address which is going to be our address so that'll be easy you can grab that right now and then it's going to be our deadline which we will explain in the end so how do we get these numbers you go to read we're going to go scroll all the way down we're going to token a or token zero and token one so this is the velo token the same thing as our rewards and then you can go to token one, which is the OP token. That's token B. Now you'll also find stable here. Stable, you can also tell, it, well, you should always query it because some people mess up and deposit to the wrong uh, pool. But you can see stable, false. Do not put it in capital. It is lowercase. So do not put in capital F for false. And now we're going to need to get our amount A min, our amount B min. So that's not done here. Now we are completely done 
with this pair contract, okay? We can exit out because we have all of our values over here. So now what we're gonna need to do is gonna need to go to read contract of our router contract. We're going to quote remove liquidity. You can see we got our token A, our token B, stable is false, liquidity value, we'll do query. So now we get these two numbers. So these two numbers, we're just going to go up into our thing, we'll do times 0.9. Cause this is for slippage by the way, that's the amount A min, amount B min. You can times this by 0.95, times it by whatever you want that's not more than 0.99. Um, that's just your slippage. I tend to just do 10% because it, it usually won't, it won't ever actually give you 10% slippage, but it gives you a nice number. We'll see if we get a weird number here. Um, okay, so it didn't happen. These smart contracts do not allow decimal places. So let's say you got a value that was like, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll do times 0.95 for this one. Okay, of course. 0.92, that's an 8% slip, okay. Um, anyways, if it ends in a decimal, just remove all the decimal places. Just copy up until the decimal place and you should be good. Uh, if it fails a little bit, you can just decrease these numbers by one or two. As long as it's a whole number, it should work fine. And now for our last value, you're going to look up epoch converter you can go to epochconverter.com. You'll copy this value. And then you're going to go add 1,000 to it. So you see how this number is an 8. I've just changed it to a 9. It's because we need to add 1,000 to the deadline. Because that's basically saying uh, in a certain amount of time or minutes from now that the transaction needs to be finalized. So now we can come back to the router with all of our gotten information. We can do token A, we can do token B, our stable is false, this is how much liquidity we have, we want at least a minimum of that many tokens, velo, well, at least that minimum, so this is actually around 31 velo tokens, this is around 30 or 3.5 OP tokens, we'll send it to ourselves obviously, and then we just got our deadline, we'll add that in. Click on right, and boom, as you can see, we are now withdrawing our position, and we have successfully gotten our tokens back. So now, we can go to Rabi, we'll pull up our OP values, and you can see we do still have a tiny bit left over because there's some rewards in there. <coughs> this is nothing, it's worth less, it's worth less than the gas would cost to claim the reward. But we can see we've gotten all of our velo back and all of our OP, and we're good to go. And then one extra thing I'll show you while we're here, um, we can go to ODOS. Because we do currently have the old Velodrome token, and we don't want the old Velodrome token. Here's the new V2. So we'll come here, we'll set that to max, sign. Um, and this is just a converter. This is straight up one to one. And then once we get this approved, hopefully it'll refresh here in a second. We'll actually refresh it quick. Velo to Velo. Maybe max. And we'll sign. And boom. Awesome. So now, after we come back to our D bank, we refresh our portfolio. We can see that now we have our Velodrome V2. We do still have this notification, but I do not care about that. And we have all of our assets back. Uh, thanks for listening in. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any more questions or any issues, please join the Discord in the description below and we'll help get you all sorted out. Uh, until then, keep droming, keep farming, and stay decentralized. Enjoy the, enjoy the tracks.